December 26, 2004, it started as a casual day. But no one in the world knows that they are going to face a, one of the deadliest natural disasters in the history. And it was named as the Tsunami. December 26, 2004, around 8 am. In the Indian Ocean, nearby to the Sumatra Island, an earthquake occurred on the ocean floor. Its range was around 9.3 magnitude. Due to this huge earthquake, the biggest waves on the form of tsunami occurred and started to hit the nearby surrounded countries. Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, India, Sri Lanka, Myanmar, Maldives are some of the countries that were ready to face the tsunami. An height of 30 meter waves are also being recorded on that day. Now let's see how the tsunamis are occurred. Before that, we'll just know about uh, what are the layers of the earth. If we start with the layers of the earth, it has a crust, mantle, outer core and inner core. If we come to the crust, crust is made up of more numbers of tectonic plates and these tectonic plates it will be look like a puzzle. And these tectonic plates always move constantly and these movements are like if it moves in the opposite direction it's called divergent if it moves directly to the each other it is called convergent if it moves sideways it is called transform these tectonic plates move around two centimeters per year we cannot even feel those movements but these tectonic plate movements are being recorded and these vibrations are the one which is called as earthquakes and these earthquakes are measured in richer magnitude scale if the tectonic plate starts to moving and it's been recorded if the readings are from 1 to 1.9 magnitude they are called as micro earthquakes they occur around 10 crores time per year and from 2 to 3.9 magnitude they are called as a minor earthquakes and from 4 to 4.9 they are called light earthquakes and from 5 to 5.9 they are moderate from 6 to 6.9 they are strong and from 7 to 7.9 they are called major earthquakes and it occurs around 10 to 20 times per year and from 8 to 8.9 they are called great earthquakes they occur at least once per year and from 9 and above 9 these magnitude are called greatest earthquakes and this occurs once in every 10 to 50 years and that type of huge earthquake was occurred on december 26 2004 in the indian ocean under the sumatra island sea this all started under the indian ocean when the indian plate and the burma plate started to move in the convergent form the indian plate slides under the overriding burma plate and at the point the burma plate got stuck up and it, due to the result of strain it got bulged up and slowly dissolution occurs after some period of time it causes a tectonic uplift and then the plate started to slip off and then it causes a rupture and this rupture gives a enormous releases enormous energy in the form of earthquake and the big waves which are termed as tsunamis this earthquake was the third world's largest and the longest earthquake 9.3 magnitude and it long lasted around 8 to 10 minutes and in fact the whole planet was shaken around 10 mm on that day. It's been 16 years from 2004 tsunami and Indian Ocean earthquake. Around 14 countries was affected and around 230,000 people lost their lives due to this natural disaster. Now we do have a lot of advanced technologies where we can analyze the earthquakes, where we can warn before the tsunamis and we can evacuate the people to the safest zones. But whatever we do, we humans can analyze the natural conditions but we humans cannot stop the natural occurrence tsunami the unforgettable day we'll meet you in the next video and don't miss to subscribe this channel thank you